Okay, what up YouTube? Please pardon the mess and the hard stuff. And yes, I'm wearing yes, I'm wearing glasses. There's a reason. So I have a slight stigmatism and I'm a little farsighted in my left eye, nearly perfect vision in my right eye. So that's fun. But this is not well, that's not what the video is about. So recently I tried to get back into the art work. Um, you know, drawing, using stuff, and especially Sharpies. If you know about me or if you've seen my art, I would always usually include, if not Sharpies or kind of markers or inking stuff. Uh, so I have been doing that and I've accumulated a lot. And my once clean room is back to, yeah, back to being a mess again. That's another project, but I'm not telling you for what. It's a surprise for birthdays. Uh, so I'm going to just show you, also I got my favorite black butler pillow. Expensive stuff to buy at uh, the store, but it was worth it. I cuddle with it a lot. And I got more plushies, like Sebastian, and a top hat from the Book of Circus. And CL with this cute little hat. Not from Book of Circus, just a normal one. And then, well, he's not new, but my other Sebastian I've had for a while. Anyway, back to here. So here's a couple I'm done. Some of them, be warned, are not complete. Um, because... Sometimes when I'm drawing, sometimes I'll get off on something else, or if something comes up for me to do, then that happens. So, this one is of Peter Pan and Wendy. Peter's almost done. It's just Wendy. I didn't really fully get done. And I made a mistake. I'm working on trying to, you know, not bother, you know, get too worried about them. So I try to fix it with making it flowers. It's kind of weird for a pixel character, but... From distance, though, it looks pretty cool, I think. Also, yes, this is graphing paper, and yes, it's not a tear. I do that. I tape these pieces together in case, because sometimes the picture does not always fit on the paper. Um, but luckily, though, thanks to me and Ma, you know, shopping and all, we got me this big old board of paper. And a little one, too. Some gridded paper. I like working with it. It's like four by fours in each square. Okay, so next one is one I'm proud of. <laughs> in it, I'm a big Beauty and the Beast fan. <laughs> I can never get enough of it. So there was this. I made a little chibi little bell because I wanted to draw her so badly. And the rose, which I had fun with. Not a mistake a little bit, but I fixed it. Signature. I didn't do those to the other ones because where would I put it? And then the bees. I couldn't find a good version of a, this kind of version of the beast so I used a big old version and just zoomed in um, the hard part was you know placement wise I think I made a couple mistakes but I'm not too bad I'm not mad not mad at it um, I'm also a big Professor Layton fan I've seen every video game I've seen all the movies so Professor Layton I, again I edited made some adjustments to Emmy Altava from a couple of the other series um, she was usually, she was supposed to be shorter than Luke, but I want them to all to be even-wise. At least be a little shorter than Professor Layton, because he's a, a man. Not that women have to be taller or shorter than men. I, it's just how I found her. So I extended her legs, and I think basically that was it. I just wanted to put their eyes kind of around the same level. I don't know why they made Luke so tall, but I just wanted to kind of stay in the same style. It was not easy. I'll tell you that. And then, this was my first one, actually. That's when I got back to drawing. Uh, I made Cinderella. She's also not complete because this half and her gloves, uh, well, her gloves, part of her little um, uh, dr dress accessory, and her other glove here are not completed. Uh, that was because I got distracted with something else, and I made them. I found out... Halfway through that I made a mistake after I cut cut her out. It's focus camera. It was this part of the shoe. Actually, there was supposed to be an O, a dot or something that, you know, gave it its round form. But I'm like, eh, who's going to know? So, you couldn't really see it, but I did. Um, but I, from a distance again, when I say I'm looking back, I'm not too picky. This was a lot of cutting, though. Oh, my lord. I had to go over her dress about twice with the Sharpie. 
which Sharpie in an enclosed room, you get headaches um, because the air is not being circulated around. So the smell of Sharpie is not getting circulated around, which is not fun. That's why I also wear that little mask kind of to, you know, push some away from my nose. I still smell it, but it's okay. I like her though. I finally got the blue, I think, correctly. On the camera, it looks good, but in real life, it looks weird. So, I don't know why that is. Interesting, huh? That one's out. This is the only other, only one that was really completed and was cut out. And I'm proud of this one. Although, I hate how the tape, for some reason, makes the colors lighter and foggier. I don't know why. She also looks like she has two eye colors. Uh, I found that out. I could have just made the color pencil darker, but eh, who cares? It was how the image showed. It's, it was what was on the image. So, this is Belle. Fully cut. I always try to make sure that they kind of stay around the same height as each other. Because the style, I'm trying to find all the characters in the same format or in style um, as one another. Don't know why. But this one had a lot less mistakes because I was able to focus more. And that, uh, working with oranges and yellows is not that difficult. Um... It was pretty fun, actually. Uh, working with the skin tones, though, is hard. <laughs> I actually had to do sh a black color pencil, then a light tannish brown, kind of like the one that's on top of this row here, um, and mix those two together and then use Sharpie or, or another color pencil over it. It was not easy. Her color scheme it was a little difficult with the browns, but the yellows were not that hard. And then I bought Sharpies, and so this is a one of the projects. I have two others that are for birthdays, but I don't want to show them because I know these people who are there for watch my videos or subscribe to me and all. My friend, um, I'm not going to go into names, but I know them really well and my sister. I know y'all are watching, so there. Um, but this will be the last thing before I end the video. Um, in another video, I'll tell you kind of what happened to my face because that's why I'm not in the video itself. So I have been working on this poster. So it's a black butler because, as you see here, this wall is freaking plain as heck. And I need to fix that, obviously. I've been wanting to paint my room, but we never got around to that. Grandma still says I should. Oh, my eye is itching. There's a reason for that. Anyway, so I want to add this poster. There's going to be one more character, but this is going to be Grell, Sebastian, and Undertaker. Um, and then CL will be here, too. Um, uh, I just haven't gotten to, you know, sticking him together. I might even try to use my new paper, but I don't know. It's because the grids are a little bigger than this kind. So, I might go back to what I'm doing. Um, but, so, everyone's giving me a lot of comments saying this looks really good. And I'm happy. So, that was it. That's all the art really I've been doing. And I'm going to hop back into it because around one, I get back into my art zone. by turning on my fan, my lights, and pulling out my laptop and plugging my headphones in and listening to music that's related to what I'm doing. So your girl Flair to here is out. I'll update y'all next time. Peace!